This lake looks really nice, actually. It's very quiet. Lots of snags, which could be interesting. I'm actually using a thing called a circle hook. Now that looks like it's just not going to hook anything at all. The point just coming in here, that's just not going to hook on anything. But in fact, if that's the fish's mouth, what happens is it just comes and turns. And there it is, right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, there we go, that was one. I just saw this red tail come up, fraction of a second, but I recognize it now, that was an aeropyma. And what I've got to do is try and quietly get into position so I can actually put a bait near that fish. One thing that I learned from the tribes people, which is actually quite hard to do, but I've just got to be patient. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yeah. That's a fish, that's a good fish. Closer. You can see the fish. As the battle with this arapaima approaches the half hour mark, I'm reminded that the rebellious, proud spirit that inhabits this fish even refused to surrender to the gods. This is like game for the Right, it's gonna be out. Take it. There we go. Alikash, uh, bossaki. Oh, look at that, it came out so easily. Take it Yes. Okay, we're, we're ready. There it is. Look at that for a fish. Look at that. Massive female arapaima, about 150 pounds. I finally have the proof in my arms that huge arapaima are still out here. This is a true dinosaur of the deep. There it is. But does it weigh more than 150 pounds? So I could be pulled under the water by a fish just half my size, 75 to 100 pounds.